Hi guys, this is Jason Zak from Nathaniel School of Music. In this lesson, we are going to focus on the topic of both transposition as well as harmonization and put them together on a scale that you might not use or might not have learned that often on general YouTube learning because most people focus on transposition and harmony and theory in general on the major scale. So what I figured is we'll combine transposing and we'll combine uh, scale harmonization on the minor and not just on one of those minors. We'll try and dive into all of them. There's the natural minor we are going to do some study on, the harmonic minor and the Dorian. And if possible, some of the exotic minors like the Phrygian minor. Okay. Now to do all of this, I thought it would be a fun challenge or a fun way to annoy a few people out there that might like nursery rhymes. Actually, there might be a lot of people out there, all the children, be careful if you watch this one or maybe you want to annoy your teachers. That'll be fun. So we are going to take a, a few nursery rhymes, at least the ones that I have heard, and absolutely annihilate them. To, to do that, we are going to transpose them not by key. We are not going to move twinkle, twinkle, little star from G major to E flat major because it sounds the same I want it to sound different I want it to, to have a different emotion or a different vibe the easiest way to do this is to transpose by scale and not by key so the key could be anything so to transpose by scale we have to figure out what are the degrees that might change and also to transpose the chords or to change the chords. Some might call this as borrowed chords from the parallel scale. So the major scale, twinkle, twinkle, let's say if you're doing it, it would have these notes, G major scale, right? And to convert it to the natural minor, the third degree, the sixth degree and the seventh degree change. So you might think, okay, Parallelly, I'll borrow a few chords from the minor, but here, that's not that's not what we are going to do. We are going to transform the song completely by transposing the the scale. Major could become minor, any of those minors, and we will also add chords that are relevant to that particular scale. It could be Dorian chords to give you a very brave, adventurous sound. It could be the natural minor to give you a very pensive and moody and sad melancholic sound or the harmonic minor scale which completely changes the vibe it almost makes it into a different song altogether okay guys before we get started it'll be awesome if you could consider heading over to our patreon page my handwritten notes and the notations for some of these songs that we've messed up are going to be there if you want to read it and practice along the way and also it would be nice if you can consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on the bell icon for regular notifications let's get cracking so first off i'm going to choose a key of interest we're going to look at g for this lesson let's start off with g the essential theory how to bring minor scales from the major scales or how to form them with respect to major so if you take g major one sharp right namely f sharp so to convert this particular scale into minor, here's what you do. You flat the three, the third or the ga in the uh, classical world, sa re ga becomes sa re ga, minor third. The dha will become the for natural minor. And then the ni, ni will come down to ni flat. Okay, so this is the natural minor, while this would be the major. Now the minor scales have a few variations. Let's just figure those out. Natural minor, 3 flat, 6 flat, 7 flat with respect to minor, major scale. The harmonic minor would only have the 3 and the 6 flat with respect to the major scale. Your 3 flat is B flat, your 6 flat is E flat, and it would have the normal 7. 
which the U- major scale had but in doing so there is an augmented second created between the flat 6 and the major 7th and some people would also argue that the 7th got raised but raised with respect to what raised with respect to the natural minor right that's natural that's harmonic so that raising of the 7th is nothing but a major 7th in comparison with the major scale but please note that there's this minor 6th and the major 7th that creates a wider interval it's an augmented second or you could even say minor third normally scales are built with two and one step motion the harmonic has that that wider gap between the 6 and the 7 that's what makes it very interesting and in addition to this you also have the dorian scale we don't call it dorian minor i would just say dorian which has a raised 6 with respect to natural or you can just say flat 3 and flat 7 so your b gets flattened and your flat 7 with respect to the major 7th and there we have it that would be your uh, dorian and last but not least we can make it a bit more exotic with a phrygian scale which would be that has a flat 2 in there so flat 2 flat 3 flat 6 and flat 7 lot of flats so if we have to map out a song let's say let let's take mary had a little lamb okay anyway these songs i think have some strange lyrics where people cut off their tails with a carving knife and all of these people fall down and break their heads and other body parts so it's okay to i think mess around with the with them a bit because the lyrics are quite scary come to think of it uh, you should read them a bit i uh, don't you think let me know in the comments if you know how all of these songs originated that would be interesting for me to read so if you take mary had a little lamb on g i'm assuming you know the tune on g uh, i'm just supporting it with simple chords 1 5 1 5 that could be basic harmony tonic which is your 1 predominant which is your 4 dominant which is the 5 and you can decide these chords based on the melody that's the first rule of creating harmony or composing harmony find your melody see what chord goes with those important words which are at the strong beats mary had a little lamb so b works pretty well with a g major chord little lamb A, you'd probably want the dominant chord, the D. Little lamb. There we go, back to G. So I'm just going with the tonic and the dominant. Okay, now let's harmonically change this to the minor, and let's also melodically change it to the minor. You can't do one of the other; it'll sound very weird. Otherwise, you'll have major chords and minor melody. That that I don't think gets done. So Mary had a little lamb. If you observe, what are the notes that you need to change to make it sound minor? If you take the root, will stay the same. The second will stay the same, unless you want to do the Phrygian. The five will stay the same. I don't think there's a four. Yeah, there's nothing. So only the third degree. or the second degree will change or flatten themselves so if i just say i'm going to move every b to its flat in this case b flat immediately the song changes and you can support it with a minor tonic chord which is g minor maybe a d minor which is your dominant minor i'm on the natural minor scale I will harmonize all of the scales and leave it to you in the handwritten notes. Do check it out. You'll find all of the available chords, especially the one, four, fives, which can work for immediate uh, justification of minor. So.
So you didn't have to do much, right? It's just move the three down to the flat three. If you want to make it more uh, exotic or Phrygian. You can add that A flat major, which is the two flat major, and makes it very Phrygian. So, okay, we or we can stick with our minors. Can make it very. sad about the lamb which mary had or you can make it more you can also transform it to a nice song you can make it in the harmonic minor to play that five dominant seventh so you can do this and just if you're composing a song also fresh you can just see how it sounds with the tonic major chords and the uh, major scale chords versus the minor scale chords it's a good ab comparison to have i guess okay and a fun fun thing to also then do is find some minor songs and make them major i think i should make another lesson for that imagine songs like now becoming or or that would also be an interesting lesson maybe in the future let us know in the comments if you want to do something like that uh, or if you are okay with us destroying your favorite songs now coming back to mary had a little lamb all that changed was the minor third and i told you you can also mess around with the flat 2 and the chords which would work would be your tonic and dominant you can map this down you can write it you can even look at the notation or whatever you want but it's a pretty simple job you know g major you know g minor and you journey forward let's take another nursery rhyme three blind mice three blind mice see how they run that one okay so if you just take that very easy that's gare sa instead of major my blind mice see how they run and you're kind of harmonizing also with thirds of that respective scale then the busy part major i'm just doing tonic and dominant chords there on minor so all i did there was the 6 and the seven have to come down or flatten to be natural and the dominant instead of being major will be minor you can also borrow a major chord from the minor scale that will make it a kind of bluesy interpretation more spanish flamenco version I'll show you a few other chord movements along the way to keep the lesson interesting but for now three blind mice is also pretty easy it's just that the chords change a bit fast right tonic dominant tonic even if you were to play it on major g d g it changes fast but on minor Three 
blind mice for you what else shall we consider hmm maybe this one e i e i o old macdonald had the farm okay let's look at the basic chords that would be tonic major sub dominant which is the 4 because i had had a i think mcdonald had a farm sounds annoying with just the g would like the c old mcdonald had a farm e i e i o that would be tonic dominant tonic and on that farm he had a pig e i e i o i don't know what noise he we have in the lyrics for what the pig will do you have to figure that out on your own so na 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 e i e i o there we go now to make this minor you're going to mess with the 6th degree a uh, minor so yeah, actually also quite nice that's a very celtic version of it with the mix of flat 6 so back to my num e i e i o na da 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 e i e i o so you could do natural or harmonic uh, you can also make it a Make it Dorian with a four major instead of the traditional four minor. And a five minor. Sort of like one of the creatures in Old MacDonald's farm was a kind of a victorious person or a brave person in this story. Or something bad happened to someone in that farm. Old MacDonald had a farm. Had you can make that very Dorian with a four major, going to the one minor. So that's the Dorian chords. You should check it out in my notes. So that was Old MacDonald had a farm. Let's move on to something else. Works with the tonic chord, so uh, let's look at some melodic play. Can become. It's just a G minor chord down. Merrily, merrily now, life is but a dream. So row, row, row your boat. sad you can kind of do a groovy or uh, minor melody which makes it very interesting a little bit sneaky and a bit groovy as well <clears throat> you can still do that na 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 which is a 6 dominant 6 flat major dominant that's your 5 dominant come back to your one minor and then everyone's favorite even mine actually so you can move that to I like to do sometimes when there's a lot more scope harmonically to explore like twinkle twinkle I think it's a very harmonically dense song because the chords change pretty often check this out twinkle, twinkle little star that's a four dominant little star how i you can do the dominant there how i wonder what you you can do this tonic dominant play around so with minor and then how i wonder dominant 
given in to the tonic what you are could be a what you are that could be a minor 251 jazz cadence perhaps what you are so that would be an a minor 7th flat 5 or just an a diminished to a 5 dominant 1 minor 7 so Uh, then we have london bridge pretty simple just the tonic and dominant is enough for that i guess choosing tonic and dominant and just messing as i discussed throughout this lesson third and the sixth and the seventh are getting moved then we have ah a nice folk song with a again 145 all these nursery rhymes have 145 chords in them so it's it's a nice start if you're new to the piano and trying to develop your chord movements and hand independence and what not uh, don't drift too much away from nursery rhymes they are awesome and to town riding on a pony stuck the feather in his cap and call it macaroni na 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 and then na as a b section na 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 minor i'm just going to play this slowly and not talk much you can figure it out on your own Let's minorize the song now. Pretty easy. And then maybe what else? I'm running out of options. Let me know in the comments any other nursery rhymes which you've tried this on. Uh so becomes then becomes minor you can do the jazz 251 there one more song before we pack up so the the itsy bitsy sai the itsy bitsy spider now came the sun and dried up all the rain i think this should have been on minor in the first place come to think of it let me know in the comments <clears throat> line has climbed up the spout again so maybe we can give it some victorious vibe there it'll be 
your Dorian. So tonic and uh, predominant major. So I've put together the compilation of chords in my handwritten notes. Do check that out. You can also look at our notation if you are having any doubts about these melody lines. It will be given to you on the usual major and the minor with proposed chords because we don't know what the original chords are. I don't know who the composers are of these songs. So it will be tough to figure that out. But the way we've tackled the chords are based on the melody line. And you can follow what I talked about in this particular lecture. Right, guys? Have fun playing these songs. And please don't blame me if people get angry with you. This was just a fun experiment to take easy songs with the 145 chords and just mess with them a bit and uh, hopefully it improves your piano playing I'm, I'm hoping it also trains your ear and definitely your knowledge of music theory because we've combined transposition and chord progressions in one chapter in one lesson so what better way to do it than with our favorite nursery rhymes maybe you could have a session a few sessions during your practice just dedicated to these songs that you know and just challenge yourself with a few things like uh, can I change this to Phrygian? Can I change this to minor, Dorian or whatever, melodically? What chords go with that? Oh, now I need to practice those chords because it's minor instead of major, that which it used to be. Right? Thanks a ton for watching the video. Hope it was fun. Do let us know in the comments. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon for regular notifications. Thanks a ton. This is Jason Zach. Cheers.